I honestly couldn't make a 50 video course like this one, featuring some of the most popular cocktails in the world, without featuring a video on the one and only espresso martini. So if you've followed my channel for a while, since before the Essential Cocktails course, you'll know I'm all about coffee and cocktails and bringing the two together in really interesting, creative ways. And I can't think of a more iconic example of this than the espresso martini. So today what I'm gonna do is show you the most simple, easy, effective, and delicious formula, which you can take away, adapt, twist, and put your own spin on to make your own perfect espresso martini. And it's actually really, really easy to make. So without further ado, welcome to the final episode in this huge essential cocktails course, which I really hope you've enjoyed, where we're gonna make an espresso martini. So the espresso martini was created in the 1980s by one of the greatest and most influential bartenders of all time, Dick Bradsell, at the request supposedly of a supermodel who asked for a drink to wake her up and f her up. If you want to delve much deeper into the history of the espresso martini and where it came from, I actually spent time with Bea Bradsell, Dick's daughter, in this video here, which you can click on to learn all about the story of the espresso martini and the truth behind its ingredients. So for this simple espresso martini, it's going to be a four ingredient drink with a few tips and tricks along the way. So first of all, we're going to need espresso, which can be freshly brewed, or you can even pick this up from a coffee shop if you don't have access to an espresso machine. And then we're going to add three ingredients to this to really focus in on the coffee. The first of which being a frozen spirit, which is in the freezer. I'm going with a frozen aged white rum, but you can choose your favorite spirit here. For sweetness, I'm gonna go with a cane sugar syrup. I'm going with Monin, but you can use different sugar bases. You can use different flavored syrups and try different sugars. So again, a really simple starting point, which you can adapt to your favorite flavor profile. And then finally, I'm gonna go with a little bit of our saline solution, our trusty old friend, one part salt, five parts water, which is just gonna bring those big flavors together and slightly reduce our perception of any bitterness in the drink, just rounding it all out to make it really, really delicious. So into our shaker tin, we're gonna start with our espresso, which I recommend brewing hot if you can, with 18 grams of coffee for a 40 gram yield. And there's much more content about the espresso martini on my channel. So if you wanna deep dive into any element of the espresso martini, there'll be a playlist at the end that you can click on. As you know, coffee can have a huge spectrum of flavors which you can explore, everything from tropical fruit and really kind of ripe, deep fruit flavors, right through to tea-like notes, delicate notes, florals, and then the more traditional kind of chocolatey and nutty notes. All of these can be in an espresso martini. You just need to kind of adapt the other ingredients to make sure that it's really celebrated and balanced. Then to our hot espresso, ideally, you wanna choose a frozen spirit. And the reason for this is we don't wanna over dilute the drink. So by adding 40 mils of our frozen aged white rum, which historically would be vodka, but I just think the rum brings a bit more depth and ties in with this really chocolatey coffee. So this is gonna balance out the temperature. So obviously by using a hot espresso, if we were to shake this drink over ice without adding any cold ingredients, it'd dilute too quickly. We probably wouldn't get the same texture we're looking for, but by counterbalancing that temperature with our chilled spirit, it just brings down the temperature again to a more neutral temperature, just like we would with shaking any other cocktail. So that's kind of a pro tip there. Freeze your spirits, change your spirits, shift into other categories. Vodka is obviously the more classic choice. Things like brandy are really nice. Rum, of course, really, really great. And there's flavor spectrums within these, which is so huge. You can tie them in really nicely with the coffee. And then you need to balance this out. So I recommend going with 20 mils of a two to one sugar syrup of some kind. And all the syrups in the Monin range come to this level of sweetness. So you could use any Monin syrup here. You can make your own flavored syrups. You can use different sugar bases. I've actually explored a whole range of sweetness in the course, which I'll link in a video above, just here. And then to finish this off, we're gonna go with one gram of our saline solution, just to really bring everything together nicely. Gonna shake this over lots of ice to really whip it all together and get that nice creamy texture, whilst also chilling it down and slightly diluting the drink. As always, we're gonna strain this into a chilled glass, and I actually like to fine strain into this really nice coupe glass. And you can see it's got that really nice foamy texture. It's gonna have loads of body, loads of really nice coffee character coming through, being surrounded by the other ingredients in the drink. And this is an absolute winner. So there we have one of my favorite cocktails in the world, which is gonna be an espresso martini. Cheers, everybody. This drink is a perfect example of bringing really good quality coffee, really good quality cocktails, pushing the two together and creating something even more delicious. And that's something I'm really, really passionate about. So throughout this course, we've learned a huge amount of information. Hopefully a lot of it's been valuable to you. I've really enjoyed sharing it with you. So if you wanna level up your coffee, your cocktails, 
or even your coffee cocktails. It'd be amazing if you could subscribe to the channel where hopefully you'll get lots more information about both those categories and how to combine them. And I'll put a couple of playlists here. This one, all about variations on the espresso martini, of which there are many. So finally, thank you once again for watching from the bottom of my heart. I really appreciate it. And I really hope this course Essential Cocktails, as well as the rest of the channel, will help you make better drinks, which is what it's all about. So I'll see you in the next video. Cheers, everyone.